Hello again, Bluebirds. I have another art project for you today. We'll be making another chicken. Today for art, you're going to need this green piece of paper, your red chicken, one googly eye, a yellow triangle for the beak, a yellow piece of paper that looks like a crown for the chicken's head. You're going to need this yellow sheet of paper and some red paint or whatever color you would like. The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to paint our hands red. We're going to use our handprint to make the wing for our chicken. So get some paint and carefully paint your hand. Oh, it tickles so much. Make sure if you're painting your hand that you wash it very nicely afterwards. Okay, I'm painting my hand. Would you like to see? Once your hand is all painted, I want you to take it and put it on your yellow piece of paper. Press it down. Try not to move your hand because then it will smudge. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. <gasps> wow! This is what mine looks like. Yours will probably be a little bit smaller. Once you're finished with that, it's time to go and wash your hands. Once your hands are all clean, we're going to put our handprint to the side so it can dry. And we're going to get out our glue sticks. The first thing we're going to glue is the red chicken to the green paper. So take out your glue sticks, put a little bit of glue on the back. And stick your chicken onto the paper just like this. Next, we're going to give our chicken a beak. We're going to use this yellow triangle as our chicken's beak. So put on a little bit of glue and stick the beak where your chicken's mouth should be. It should look like this. Next, we're going to give our chicken his little crown. I love how chickens have those cool things on the top of their heads. I think it makes them look so pretty. So it should look just like this. And of course, we can't forget the googly eye. Put a little bit of glue on the back and stick it right where your chicken's eye should be. <gasps> wow, just like this. So we have our chicken, a beak, an eye, and the little crown on the head, but we're missing the wing. We are going to use our handprint for the wing. You have to wait until your paint is very dry because otherwise it could be messy. So wait patiently for your paint to dry. And once it is all dried, you're going to carefully use scissors to cut around your hand. Remember, I'm using big scissors because I'm a big adult. Make sure that you are using small scissors and using them carefully so you don't hurt yourself. You're going to cut around your hand just like this. It's very important that when we use scissors, we sit down safely so we can't accidentally fall and hurt ourselves with our scissors. I love how safely everyone has been using their scissors. I've seen so many videos and photos of all of you using your scissors so carefully and I am so proud. Great job, everybody. Okay, once you carefully cut out your handprint like this, we're going to put some glue on the back. Just like that. And we're going to take our handprint and put it on our chicken so it has a wing, just like this. Wow, here's my little red hen. I can't wait to see pictures of yours. Have so much fun, bye bye.